Hi! Hello! It's Kuti here. Happy Halloween! It's spooky month! I wanted to do something fun for Halloween, but I was kind of out of ideas. And then, just like in most of my nights, I was scrolling to TikTok, and I saw this fun challenge where people would make pickrews or draw themselves or as like avatars from the podcast The Magnus Archives. And this seemed like really fun. And at first I thought I would just do the TikTok trend of like making big crews, but you know me, if I can be extra, I will be extra. <laughs> so I decided to draw them all. And this is gonna be this year's Halloween special. <laughs> and oh yeah, if you have not listened to the podcast, there might be some spoilers and not all things might not make sense, but I have done my best to try and explain things. And actually, now that we are here, uh, here are all the content warnings for this video. I understand if you want to skip this one. There are some heavier themes. You can find some more light content on my channel. Please take care of yourselves and I hope you enjoyed this video. So, in the podcast there are 14 major fears explained in a list made by, a fi by the fictional, but actually a real person, but in this podcast fictional Robert Smirk. And all, of the and all of these fears can have avatars, people more or less, who are like physical manifestations of these fears and try to feed it. It is much more complicated than that, but I basically just drew myself as I would be as an avatar or a victim, <coughs> depending on the fear. So let's begin. The buried is the fear of small spaces, suffocating, being buried, alive, fear of everything crashing down around, fear of being trapped without space, and it manifests itself as caves, dirt, financial issues, heavy rain, underground transport, tight spaces such as coffins. And buried is actually one of my favorite fears. <laughs> there is just something really comforting in it, and I really enjoy most of the Buried episodes. Also, with the episode Lost John's Cave being one of the first episodes that actually made me kind of like, afraid. It just, it has a special place in my heart. And if I was to be an avatar, I'd probably just like, bury myself into the ground with messy hands and take a very long nap in the comfort of like, all the weight around me. And maybe I'd like to, like, try to get some other people to join me as well, or try out this method. If you are interested, uh, at the end of all of these I will give my recommendations of my favorite episodes of each different fear. And for the buried, my favorites are, of course, The Lost John's Cave, Submerge, and The Grave Digger's Envy. The hunt is the animalistic fear of being chased or hunted, like the primal fear of being prey, and it manifests itself as predators, predatory monsters, animal instincts, and animalistic traits. And I'm gonna be real, I would not make a good hunt avatar, like I do adore the aesthetic and the many themes it includes, but I would be very bad. For my avatar design, even though it was tempting to indulge my inner wolf kid, I felt like a Tibetan Mastiff head would be a better fit for me. Anyway, full werewolf, were, were dog, uh, ow. That was a very bad howl. Of characters in the show, I think most of you who know me, I have a very complicated relationship with Daisy as a character, but she's very interesting, <laughs> but the fandom discussions are interesting sometimes. But uh, Julia Montauk, in all, all her horribleness, she's my daughter. I, I love her. She's horrible and I, I love her. And of The Hunt, my favorite episodes are The Thrill of the Chase, Dead Horse and A Father's Love. The eye is the manifestation of the fear of being watched, exposed, followed, or having your secrets known, but it's also like the drive to know and understand, even if your discoveries might destroy you. 
and because I know my friends might be watching this video and they of course want to probably call me out on this uh, yes I am unfortunately an Elias Bouchard simp yes you are free to judge me but I also like Peter Lucas for clarity I really do like Lonely Eyes but yeah the eye is a fear I can have a kind of weird relationship with like it's Absolutely terrifying, like a lot of fears are, but also the aesthetic just bangs. Anyway, for my avatar persona, I decided to do a funny. My eyesight in real life is super bad. I basically cannot function without my glasses. So I just think it would be like very funny if the fear could not like function without the body. So now my eyes are just trapped in my glasses. And I keep drawing eyes everywhere so the watcher can take a peek through them. So yeah, annoying art kid who scribbles eyes all the time. And my favorite episodes of the eye are Nothing Beside Remains, Bloody Mary, and The Observer Effect. The slaughter is the fear of pure, unpredictable, unmotivated violence. The fear of pain coming at sudden, random moments. And it manifests as people driven mad with slaughter, soldiers, music that either induces the slaughter or warns that the slaughter is coming. And the temptation to just play back pipes throughout this whole speed went was very strong, but I decided not to do it because I am nice. I don't actually have like too much to say on this. I just think that like being a slaughter avatar would be kind of a cathartic. cathartic? I don't know what is it the word, but heartache experience, like in the same way a rage room would be, but you know sometimes you would just like get your teeth kicked in. Anyway, I would not be good at like doing violence, I could like receive the violence though, be a scary example, I don't know, mm -hmm. myself with my teeth kicked in. My favorite episodes of the slaughter are civilian casualties. Rifter's Bone, because in this house we love a good music, and Absent Without Lead. The vast is the fear of heights, falling, large open spaces, including like sky, space, and deep water. And like more broadly, it's the human fear of insignificance and meaningless of losing oneself in too much space, and it manifests as void, open, wide spaces, vertigo, falling, the transformation of something that would have a limit into something infinite. And I just think Vast is cool, like the first of our Magnus Archives fan zine that I was a part of was like a zine about all the different kinds of fears, and I got to illustrate one for the Vast. And I just think that Vast is the one that I like seeing the art of most, because it's like always very interesting to see how people decide to illustrate the landscapes or like how they get the feeling of like infiniteness in their art, if that makes sense. Anyway, if I was an avatar, I would just Simon Fairchild it around, have fun, do a funny fall from like high places. And like, I am also very interested in like the ocean side of the vast, but I think it might like overlap with my love of the buried, so I don't know. Anyway, my favorite episodes of the vast are free fall, left hanging, and high pressure. Spiral is like the fear of madness that the world you know is wrong, that your mind is lying to you of deception, lying, deceiving of the mind and senses, and it often appears as spirals, patterns, fractals, and can often also manifest as hallucinations or illusions. And a spiral is... A spiral is very scary but fun. It's scary mostly because, well, I am mentally ill, and sometimes the fear of like intrusive thoughts as well. It's a constant. But this is a funny video, even though it's a Halloween special, so we will not be concentrating on my mental health. We're gonna just indulge ourselves in the fun aesthetic of the spiral. I love Michael and I adore Helen, 
And with the spiral being aligned with art, I of course really appreciate it. And I, I wish the fandom would give some love to Gabriel too. I love the funny sculpture man. And because the association with art, I decided to try and outline all of my spiral avatars so now with one go. And let me say, doing line art like this is much more easier when doing traditional art. But this still turned out really funky. It kind of looks like a love child of very blue jeans and look from <laughs> the Adventure Zone. So, uh, podcast crossover, I guess? It's probably the ears. But I mean, if Michael gets long fingers, I'll get long ears. That's just the rules, I guess. Anyway, of Spiral, my favorite episodes are Sculptures Tool, Binary, and Upon the Stair. The Stranger is the fear of the unknown, the uncanny valley, the unfamiliar, the creeping sense that something is not right. And it manifests itself as being aspects that kind of provoke the uncanny valley, human and other, like, vax figures, mannequins masks, taxidermy, and it also often manifests as theaters and performances. I mean, Hong Kong Kong, it's, it's clown time, it's circus time. In this house, we love, st we love the stranger, and we especially love it and enjoy Nikola Orsinov. I mean, I'd give her my skin. At first, I kind of wanted to just do a common clown, but that would be, like, maybe a bit too close to my normal persona, clown sona design. So I decided to add a carousel horse pole through me. That was fun. But yeah, I don't really have nothing more to say. The Stranger is a very fun entity to listen to statesmen off of. And it's also very fun to learn when some stuff is based on real life. The day I learned that the mechanical Turk was an actual thing in the actual world, like, of course, not as fantastical, but still, it was a um, very fun day. And my favorite episodes of The Stranger are Show Must Go On, Tightrope, and Still Life. Corruption is the, well, the fear of corruption, disease, filth, fear of feelings of disgust, revulsion, and the things that might be like, ones that evoke these kinds of feelings. And it manifests itself as mold, bugs, rot, decay, infection, the feeling like that your skin is crawling. And it can also manifest as unhealthy love and companionship. And the corruption is my main entity. <laughs> like, from the day that I finally finished, like, I think it was season 4 at that time, uh, the podcast my avatar sona that I decided to design was of the corruption with a little bit of touch of the buried. But yeah, the design has pretty much stayed the same for like three years. And yeah, so this was pretty easy for me to draw. I didn't really have to think about it. So the main part of the design is of course the beehive in the stomach. But uh, the avatar sona design also has some mushrooms growing out of their ears and chest. They're missing like a small ecosystem, like a small human bog. And I think that would just be like very comforting and nice to be like a home or something. And I have just like always loved the Corruptions Association with feelings of love and wanting to be loved even to an like an unhealthy extent, like in fiction of course. And also bees. And my favorite episodes are Lava Booming, Nesting Instinct, because the cute, 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 the cute Frenchman that loves a beetle and a possessive. The dark is the primal fear of the dark, what lies beyond what we cannot see and the creatures hiding from our view. And it manifests itself as creatures hidden in the dark, shadowy figures, monsters, coldness, dark water, stuff like that. And to me, the dark has always been kind of like a... It's a basic human fear, but it's like a kind of childish fear. Not in like a bad way of like, that's so childish, why would you be afraid of the dark? But it's like a, one of the first fears that we experience, if that makes sense. 
So yeah, I kind of made myself resembling like the most scariest thing in the Finnish kid's mind. The Grog from the Moomins. And in Finnish actually, the Grog is called Mörke, which basically means like a boogeyman. And I think the word comes from the Swedish word Mörk, or Mörk, that means the dark. And hey, maybe this time the blanket would do something? Maybe? Anyway, I really like how this avatar sauna shape came out. Also, I just have to say, I love Manuela so much. Like, she, she's a very good character, I, I love her. And my favorite episodes are Dark Matter, Growing Dark, and The End of the Tunnel. The desolation is the fear of pain, loss, burning, destruction, especially with a senseless cause. And the followers are like enriched by destroying the lives of people who have things to live for and destroying things before the potential is even realized. And like in Desolation, I mostly like the characters that are like part of the desolation. The fear of destruction is of course like always present in people's lives and it is scary, but I think like the slaughter is for me like more fun. As a, <clears throat> as a concept or more fun to listen to. Anyway, um, Agnes served better. So much better. But anyway, I really like how this drawing turned out. Like, it was very much like a you gotta trust the process kind of process, but I think it was very worth it in the end. My favorite episodes are Burning Desire, Wise as Bright, and Chosen. The web. The web is the fear of being like controlled, trapped without knowing it, and you will not be like your own of being manipulated. And it manifests itself as like spiders, webs, and web like patterns, marionettes, and addictions. And I just think I would make a very bad web avatar, so I decided to just draw myself like a Literal spider caught in their own web, always getting trapped and tripping. It turned out kind of cute, if I'm being honest. And like, even if I do like a lot of the statements of the web, as like an entity, I just don't feel that like strong of a connection to it. Still, Annabelle Kane, if you're listening, uh, call me. And my favorite episodes are A Guest for Mr. Spider, Creature Feature, and Strung Up. Flesh is a fear born from the fear held by animals bred for meat, and in the human realization that we are just animated meat and bones, and manifests itself as meat, corpses, blood, bones, butchers, meat related industry, and like strange bodies, like unnaturally twisted, reshapen, and butchered. And the flesh is kind of like my entity in law. If that makes sense. My friend really loves like the flesh as a fear. So I also have like a soft spot for it because of like the positive association. Anyway, I really enjoy how this picture turned out. I wanted to have this kind of like weird mix of both like cartoonist bones and more realistic bones and organs. Also hair open because I thought that would be just cool looking, I guess. Anyway, this piece actually kind of inspired part of my this year's Halloween costume, where I dressed up as like a deer that had died twice. My favorite episodes of The Flesh are Piecemeal, Meat, and Cruelty Free, because Monster Pig, I, I love you, my beloved. The Lonely is the fear of isolation, of being completely cut off and alone. Or disconnected from the rest of society. Manifests as fog, large rooms, silence, crowds of faceless people. And uh, I have a weird relationship with the lonely. It's... 
it's the fear that I relate to most with corruption, but like, honestly, like the reasons that I relate to the lonely a lot are personal and sorry, but I am not too comfortable sharing those in the internet. But yeah, with how difficult the uh, lonely as a fear is to me, I decided to draw this picture in a bit of a different style, so a more painterly look. And I think it works pretty well with the whole foggy aesthetic that the lonely has going on. And as I mentioned before, Peter Lucas, if you are free, I will be free. I I, I love that. Not merman, what's a sailor? Sailor, yes. My favorite episodes are Personal Space, Call de Sac, and Boatswain's Call. And last but not least is, of course, the end. Well, it's the fear of the end, fear of death. And like, I, I don't really have too much to say about the end as a fear. Or entity like there is just like something comforting about it and it's like the most human of the fears in my opinion so I decided to just draw myself with an owl on my hands or I guess it could be like any kind of creature but owl has like specific reasons for me <laughs> like symbolic reasons I guess anyway my favorite episodes of the end are actually Cheating Death, Dead Woman Walking, and The Cost of Living. And there we go. I hope you all had a safe end of the spooky month, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And hey, which was the, your favorite of the avatars I drew here? And are you excited for Magnus Archives 2? And hey, biggest thanks to my Patreon supporters Hedrino, Susi, and Ultrasop. You can join them at patreon.com slash And thank you for watching. See you!